everyone. Coming up on 1015 on this Saturday night, Lake of the Ozarks. Of course, it's calm. It's late October on a Saturday night, but it does look extra pretty tonight. Very calm conditions up at the lake. 50 degrees east northeast winds at five miles per hour. If you were out at all today, you noticed a nice little breeze, but look at that dew point. Dew point of 30. It is extremely dry, almost desert like across the area, and it's going to stay very dry for the next couple of days, so not a good time to burn, especially on Monday and Tuesday. Now currently on our satellite and radar, we are looking at a little bit of cloud coverage to our north, but not bringing any rain with it. Unfortunately, we do have a little bit of rain into parts of Arkansas um, and to Mississippi, but that's as close as it gets. We're going to stay very dry for the next few days, unfortunately, but there's starting to be a shift. I'm noticing a shift that'll come and we will start to see more chances for rain. We're probably going to get sick of it. You know, it's all going to come at once for tonight. Temperatures will be in the mid 40s across the area. Clear conditions dry as well for tomorrow. We'll be in the mid 70s. This will be our coolest day of the next few. We're going to be coming close to records over the next couple of days. We've got fall air and summer air battling it out and summer air, especially for our western counties will win as we head through Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. We're going to be chasing that summer sizzle. Now we got to get that warm air in here somehow. So how are we going to do it? The winds are going to be strong winds on Monday. Some places getting close to 40 mile per hour gusts. That's why the fire danger is so elevated Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday, the winds will be strong as well, so it's just going to be warm. It'll just be very windy across the area. Then the question is everybody wants to know. When's it going to rain? Well, there's a chance that we could see a few scattered showers and storms. This chance is better than we've seen most all of October on Wednesday. Thursday, which is Halloween, should stay mainly dry. I think the rain will be moved out by that point. And then on Saturday, that rain chance returns, and I think we're going to see a pretty good chance of rain through the weekend. This is a look at Saturday and Sunday. You can see rain likely, uh, even over an inch of widespread rain across the area. It'll be a good soaking rain. Now, models still could change. We're a week out, but it does look like that pattern flips and that we've got a much better chance of seeing widespread heavy rainfall at that point. Here's that seven day forecast warm and windy for your Monday and Tuesday scattered storms for the middle of the week should dry out for your Halloween. So it doesn't look like you'll need an umbrella or rain jacket for the little ghosts and goblins. We will be much cooler once the cold front moves through temperatures will drop back into the 60s. So that's more closely to where we should be for this time of the year. It you don't want to you don't want to trick or treat when it's 83 out there. So 60 sounds a little better. Yeah, it's a good good little medium, I, I think guess. So. Yeah. Last year it was frigid. I think we had a high in the 40s. It was. I remember I had to go out and report, uh -huh. and I said, you know, we finally made it to below freezing. So <laughs> we or did in a big way. Below freezing. What am I? You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, we got it. to that freeze. There we go. Uh, this is why I'm not a meteorologist. <laughs>